It's one of the strongest storms ever recorded. A relentless snowstorm. Record rainfall. Record breaking rainfall. With a new UK record temperature. What El Nino will do to Earth in 2024. Have you ever thought about the mysterious weather phenomenon known as El Nino? Well, get ready because in 2024, it will make big changes to the world. The NOAA has just discovered its forecast, and it's not just about the rain and sunshine. So let's delve into this video to understand what El Nino has in store for Earth. El Nino is warming up the water in the Pacific Ocean, and as predicted, more heat is coming, so it will be hotter in 2024. The extra heat is bringing up record-breaking hot weather, which is harmful and affecting the entire planet. So basically, it's a cyclic climate phenomenon that brings warm water to the equatorial Pacific Ocean, and that warm water further leads to higher average global temperatures. It began in June, and now experts from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Atmospheric Administration NOAA, have confirmed that it will stick around until March 2024. Also, there's a growing chance that El Nino might start becoming hotter later this year, as per the latest report from the World Meteorological Organization WMO. This would surely have different weather and climate effects than the long-lasting La Nina, possibly causing higher global temperatures. La Nina is the cold event, the opposite of El Nino. During La Nina, the winds are stronger than usual, pushing warmer water towards Asia. It brings cold and nutrient-rich water to the surface. After an unusually long three-year run, the La Nina has finally ended. Right now, the tropical Pacific is in a state called Enso Neutral, meaning it's neither El Nino nor La Nina. It's in the between. Moving back to El Nino, it makes the world even hotter because it teams up with human-made climate change. This combination even increases the chances of breaking heat records everywhere. In fact, the first six months of 2023 were super hot, according to NOAA, the weather experts. June 2023 set a new record as the hottest June ever since we started keeping track back in 1850. It's like the Earth had a fever. Moreover, the southern United States has been baking in extreme heat for over a month. Nearly 400 daily temperature records were recorded in June and early July, mostly in Texas. They had temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Mississippi. El Paso even endured 34 consecutive days of scorching heat. And the bad news is that the heat isn't going away. As we already discussed, weather experts say we can expect hotter than usual temperatures across much of the country for the next three months. So it's time to stay cool and stay safe. When El Nino happens, it might mess with the weather worldwide making some places really hot and others too much rain or not enough. It could even help places suffering from drought, like the Horn of Africa. But on the flip side, it can also cause really extreme and bad weather. As per numeric data, the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and some smart weather forecasters are saying that there's a 60% chance that things will go from being neither too hot nor too cold. A state called Enso Neutral to El Nino between May and July 2023. From June to August, that chance goes up to 70%, and by July to September, it's at 80%. But we don't know exactly how strong or how long this El Nino will be. We know that it will probably stick around until winter in the Northern Hemisphere, and there's a very high chance of that happening. The summer has almost ended, and it has been the hottest so far, with lots of wildfires in places like Hawaii, Greece, Spain, and Canada, and even droughts. So all of this news points to just one thing. It will be another super hot summer. In fact, 2023 has more than a 90% chance of being one of the top five hottest years ever recorded. The last eight years were the hottest, especially between 2016 and 2020. The temperature got too hot in 2016 because of two things. Firstly, a super strong El Nino event even caused the Great Barrier Reef to bleach. The reef has warmed by 0.8 degrees Celsius since 1910, and in 2016, 2017, 2020, and 2022, heat waves have caused mass coral bleaching. Also, the effects 
effects of warmer heat waves are still visible, and reefs are still at risk of decline from more frequent disturbances. Secondly, the stuff we humans do that makes the Earth warmer includes burning fossil fuels or approving huge oil projects that cause global warming. We even use too much energy, drive cars, cause pollution, and many other things we do that harm nature and cause global warming. To know how it causes global warming, check out our video in the description below. So, this extra heat usually shows up a year after it happens. That's why the United Nations wants to warn people early when El Nino is coming, so we can be prepared and safe. Also, not all El Nino events are the same. They can act differently depending on when they happen. So, the experts at the World Meteorological Organization and the National Meteorological Hydrological Services will keep a close eye on what's going on. That's all for today. Share your views about the arrival of El Nino in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more such updates. Until the next time, stay tuned and take care.